Greg McCauley, president of TRS Services based in Houston, Texas. And I'm hearing from many customers about the additional cost pressures they are facing firsthand due to our current economic situation. Now, given the situation that we're all facing, I'm excited to share my favorite and powerful cost management topic, lifecycle cost analysis, a powerful tool that we can use to save money and time, eliminate many operational risks, and identify ways that we can innovate. This week's video covers what is lifecycle cost analysis, why knowing and tracking lifecycle cost is important to the success of your operation, and how we calculate and track lifecycle costs. Lifecycle cost analysis is the study of all costs associated from purchase to retirement of an object or process. Studying should result in learning and learning hopefully produces uh, the best actions for all stakeholders in a given situation. Well, first of all, it helps us choose the best competing option. It helps us determine where a part, process, or operation is causing our cost to increase, and thus where we may want to apply additional resources to stop this cost creep. It helps us determine when a problem is occurring and needs to be solved with the design, behavior, repair, or operation of a part, process, or assembly. On the surface, everything may seem to be fine, but a thorough LCCA may say otherwise. And then finally, it allows us to perform an apples to apples comparison of competing options. Well, first we calculate all direct and indirect costs of a part or unit. We include the purchase price, repair cost, and support hardware cost, as well as other costs that we incur in the operation and maintenance of said part. We also calculate a time or utilization period, which is typically given in fired hours or fired starts. Then we divide all of our costs by this time value, and then we have a dollar per hour or dollar per start cost for the component or the unit in question. Real life example of uh, life cycle cost analysis in this case is with a row one ring segment. A ring segment is a stationary component uh, within a certain model of gas turbine uh, that when originally purchased costs approximately $100,000. At the first repair interval, which is typically 25,000 hours, uh, we'll spend an additional 50K to repair the part. So our total life cycle cost in this instance is 150K. We expect the part to operate over a $50,000 total interval. So our life cycle cost at per unit of time, in this case, is $3 an hour. In reality, what we were finding is the part was failing prematurely after uh, performing a repair to the component. In this instance, we were spending an additional $150,000 per unit over the operating interval of that part. Our life cycle cost went from $3 an hour to, in this case, $150,000 of additional cost divided by a 30,000 hour operating interval, uh, resulting in a $10 per hour life cycle cost. So that seven hour, seven dollars per hour uh, incremental life cycle cost increase uh, resulted in a additional cost per unit of seven dollars times eight thousand hours of year of operation, fifty six k per year. Next week we will go into greater detail about life cycle cost or all of the costs incurred because the first step in reducing life cycle cost is knowing what all of our costs are. TRS provides turbine component repair, upgrades, and consulting services that combine industry-leading speed, value, and know-how to top operators and manufacturers in the energy sector. Uh, we intend to better educate our customers about managing your risk and helping boost EBITDA and free cash flow in an ever-tightening market. 
You can find more information about TRS services and our wide variety of services that we offer to our customers at trsservices.com or at 713-692-2930.